Eliana, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, camera. It's a little weird. Yeah. Hi, teacher. How are Hello. you? Just fine, just fine. What about you? I'm fine too. Everything's good. I had dinner a couple minutes ago. Well, like like uh, half an hour. So I already dinner. Okay, that's nice. Yep. I I I already, I already had, had dinner. Had, right. Okay. I already had dinner. Yeah. Just give me a yeah. second. Please. Just a second, just a second. Okay. What was there for dinner? Tell me. Mm, a traditional dinner, you know, some eggs, the beans, cheese. Oh, and avocado. Okay. Yeah, That's I love nice. it. Yeah, with lemon and salt. I like, yeah, I like avocado like that. And I love guacamole, you know, that's one of my favorite dishes ever. Really, I, I ate guacamole oh. this week, yeah. That's so nice, that's so nice. We have a, a trio, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. You have, you have an avocado tree. An avocado tree. An avocado tree. Yeah, so it's nice because I think that, what well, well, it's avocado season or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a lot of avocados in the kitchen. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. And tell me, how was your day? My day? Wow, my days are always... <laughs> always busy. Kind of hectic, to be honest. Uh, well, today, to be honest with you, I had a... A day off. Oh, really? Yeah, well, me and my co-workers decided, uh, my boss decided we should go to the beach. So we went to the beach and the only problem was that, as usual, I'm the designated driver. So <laughs> I arrived home like around, uh, uh, let me see like around 5.40. I just came, shower pass, went to the gym and stay in the gym like for one hour and a half. Run back home and, and I'm here. But man, it's so hot. I need rain. It's pretty hot. I was sweating as a pig, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> So what but, about you? How was your day? What did you do? Something um, special? No, the same, well, almost the same routine. In the morning, I, I have, I don't know if the correct, uh, way to, to say this. I have been attending, is right? Como yo estuve, I have been. Yeah. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I have been. I have been. Okay. So um, I have been attending a couple of meetings with my boss. Oh, we we had to risk reschedule. 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 Thank you. Uh, others uh, due to the vacations. 
to the oh, next yeah. next week vacations. Yeah. So we have to move some meetings uh, for the uh, the week after vacations. And that was my my morning. Uh, in the afternoon, I just uh, revised uh, some some papers, some 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 like, paperwork paperwork and some documents that my boss signed. Uh, so I have to check that everything is okay, is in order, and it's complete. And then I send that that documents to the different areas that 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 send that document to me <laughs> okay to the different areas who no wish wish, wish. okay gave me the info mm -hmm. or provide yeah. me with the info and that was my day basically Busy as usual. Yeah, kind of busy. <laughs> that's that's terrible, but but know, yeah, it's part of the game, right? Yeah, part of the game. So my motivation is that vacations. It is the, the vacation the next week. So I feel motivated because of that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and how many days are you gonna have of vacation? Eh, just jueves. No sé si se dice correctamente. O sea, jueves santo. ¿Cómo lo dices en inglés? Holy, Holy Thursday. Holy Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just. Thursday and Friday. Just two days. Well, yeah, just Saturday, two days. of course. Oh, yeah. That's but nice. I have to well, at, yeah. least, at, at least you will have four days on the yeah. road. Yeah. And maybe, just maybe a, a Wednesday, but I don't know yet. I have to, to ask to my boss if he want. Give me the permission to to rest mm. the weekend. And, the, the, and what do you plan to do? Um, I have to to. Well, I remember I told you that I had a I I have my my aunt wedding. Oh yeah, you told me you got the dress. Let me see. It was a green dress. Right? Yeah green so i i have to to buy a, my, my my shoes i don't have the shoes yet well i already have a pair of shoes but mm, i don't like the that pair too much for the style of the dress i think just mm, not much the shoes they with the dress i think they don't match they don't match mm -hmm. I think they do match. So maybe maybe on Wednesday I I do that. You Buy a, a, a shopping. pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How many hours are you going to set aside for buying shoes? It depends. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. Is it hard for you to get them? Sometimes. Sometimes, um, in this case, I need heels, like a party heels. So um, I think that 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 the, that's gonna take me more time than than I than I expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay, well, we will see. We will see. That's gonna be part of your homework <laughs> to let me know on writing some of the activities you perform during the vacation time. Okay, that would be nice. 
Yeah, I will let you know later on what's going to be your assignment. Easy, easy. It's going to be like every day, quite short. Okay. Eliana, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Oh, thanks to you. Heidi. Oh, Heidi's busy. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. That's nice. That's nice. So tell me, what about you? When are you going to have vacation? How many days? Uh, from Wednesday noon Till to Monday. Saturday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're going to be back at your Java until Monday. That's cool, right? That's cool. And what's the plan? The plan is to sleep the whole vacation. Okay. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Well, yeah. That works for you. Yeah, I mean, sleep, you, believe me. You gotta enjoy it the way the way that you need it the most. It's that I think if you visit the beach or or every single place is is full, you know, a lot of people it's visit. Mm -hmm. it's so I think you have to go before vacation or when vacation finishes, but not yeah. during vacation. That time is not good. Yeah, in my case, let's see. Well, I'm going Sunday to the beach, but it's going to be short your Sunday. Let's see, Monday. Hmm, need to go buy some rolls for painting, start painting my house. Then I will go paint my in law's house. I got the paint here already. Hey, you really love painting. It's cool. I mean, I like it. You know, I enjoy it. Okay. And and here at home, what they do is that she picks the colors because I mean, um, we never paint just one color, right? Mm -hmm. So she picks them colors, and I need to be like sometimes like this wall, which color goes, you know and fixing a little stuff that's that's nice i mean it's cool yeah it's cool to paint i'm planning to buy a a, a pool to the to the babies so they will have fun here at home you know what i got one you got yeah i got one really uh, yeah i got one uh, you know during during quarantine you remember uh -huh. that it started in the pretty hot days? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what I did was I went to, to Red Pie, bought one, the biggest could fit here uh, in my backyard. And, and actually I did it for them, for my wife and my son. I, I used to, I bought the chemicals to, to treat the water. Uh, back in the days i remember when i used to work doing that little stuff for a company and so i fill it up treat the water and i used to take them the the tv here to the backyard connect the tv i moved them uh, i gathered them a table for them to have lunch so they used to spend there like half a day Huh, that's cool. Yeah, it was. It was. Then my 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 nephew, he lives uh, a block and a half from here. He used to come. My niece, they were having fun here all day long. But and I don't since then, a... I have it. <laughs> okay, it's that I I I don't buy a big one, just for the kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No. The last course. time I the last time I put it in the garden and my the grass. I screwed up with the grass. Okay, if you do it in the on the grass, uh, what I will recommend you is that it's going to be an inflatable. It's going to be an inflatable. The ones that you blow air into. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So okay, I'm, not, I'm are, not doing it again. Bad idea. What I will recommend you is to, if you put it on the grass, is you need to get uh, over there. They also sell it. And there's a uh, plastic that is pretty thick. 
black mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. You fold it and you put it first in the grass and on top of it, you put the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to clean it after that because if you do it just like that, oh my gosh, to clean that swimming pool is terrible and the grass gets pretty damaged. A lot of stuff. Can you imagine? Yeah, but it's fun, you know. Actually, I was I was thinking, I mean, one of the projects I got here on my on my backyard is to to to, to build them a small like a, not a pool because I don't have enough space for that. But I don't know. I would like to build them like a, something like a, a like a little, you know, an outdoor jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, yeah. I would like to buy them that. That's one of the projects I got for them here. Mm -hmm. But it'll take time because. I mean, one of the things is that those things are expensive. The other, the other situation is the time to, to make it. And, and you know, uh, here in this, in this place, uh, it's not under the, uh, who supplies water service. Oh, really? It's a, a high and then water is expensive. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. So that's why I buy a small one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah because the one that I got, I mean, I don't know how many barrels, but mm -hmm. like four, you no, know, like five barrels of water. It's a lot of water. Yeah, but no, it's a lot. Know. Yeah, usually I pay hundred and fifty. Usually. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Can that's you imagine? Different story. Yeah, mm -hmm. what I did was that. As I told you, I bought the chemicals, so I used to treat the water and clean it every day. Mm -hmm. So the same water stayed there like for weeks. Mm -hmm. because hey, that's other, yeah, because otherwise, I mean, my guys, you cannot be changing the water every day, every time they're mm -hmm. gonna use it. It's, it's a prohibitive uh, price, the one that we are going to pay. Yeah, and how about what, what kind of, of chemicals you use? I don't remember how many meters. To be honest, I don't remember how many meters. Let's see, should be, I mean, I, I can do the calculus, but uh, it takes time. I, better yet, I will try to remember because I need to get the, let's see, the formula for that is uh, that I need the radio, it's, the P, P times two radios, no, radios square, yeah, something like that. But I'll try to remember, you know, those numbers I used to have them in my mind all the time. Mm -hmm. It's just that I have not been working with them for long. Yeah, but I'll get you the data. And it's, you know, it's fun. For kids, it's fun. Actually, you know, my, my wife, she's a teacher and <laughs> once, and she works in a public school in the countryside. Mm -hmm. And the, the community where she works, uh, kids are like, uh, I mean, they live in a bad situation. So once I remember, it was like, yet like two years ago, no, last year, she took it to the school. She took everything to the school. I mean, she paid somebody to go drop her off and she made a deal with the with the city hall they sent her the water they filled it filled it up and she had all her students in there they have fun <laughs> yeah kids were so happy it's love usually the kids loves water right yeah they do they all love they water do. yeah they all love yeah. swimming yeah, and that's the funny thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, as I told you, I used to have that thing here ready like for days on a row. And believe me, I never got into it. Mm -hmm. Not my thing, not really my thing. You never what, sorry? 
I never got into it. Got in? In the pool? Into. Yeah. Into. Really? Really? Yeah, I never got, I never felt like, oh yeah, I, I will get into it. No. I mean, not my thing. I like swimming. And, but I like swimming in pools if they are deep. But mm -hmm. otherwise, I mean, I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a very boring person. You know, I don't enjoy being there, like just laying down. Not my thing. What is it that you enjoy, teacher? Well, what I do when we go there I, is I get a hammock or I get a, a, a chair and and I grab a book and I'm happy. You see, everyone, it. everyone enjoys at their way, right? Yeah. Yeah, in my case is reading. As long as I'm reading or listening to music, I'm full. No problem. Your case reading, my case sleeping. Yeah, that one for me doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, once I open my eyes during the day. I am not sleeping the rest of the day. My sister offered to take care of the babies while I sleep because if someone is not playing with them, the little one, uh, when I go to bed, he puts me shoes. Hey, mommy, let's go play. Let's go play. Then I can't sleep. So yeah, my sister is taking them with her for a little while while I sleep. Yeah, you know, in my cases, I tell you, in me, I mean, taking naps for me, uh-uh. No, really? Not even a nap? No, not even a nap. That's worse for me. If I take a nap and I sleep like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, I wake up with a big headache. I feel horrible really? the rest of the day. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think I'm not quite normal. You know? <laughs> Hi, everyone. welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambar Eliel Paro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Mendez Torres. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atirio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Está peleando con Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. I still got time. Who else is around? Ada. Hello, Ada. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good I, got evening. A, I got a hard phone about the 45 minutes. And oh, really? my day, yes, teacher. And my day, a lot of work. And meet, a meeting of around three hours. And 
discuss the schedule and the holy holy weekend vacation yeah. holy week vacation and the chief um only vacation thursday and friday mm, oh, really? in the afternoon i had i had two long and complicated surgeries 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 and the patients diabetic is very diabetic. complicated a diabetic is a complicated And yes, only day teacher. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ambar, hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm just here, you know, just fine, just fine. Tell me, what's the plan for next week? Mm. Now I don't have any plan, but maybe I will go to the beach, but I'm not sure. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice, that's nice. <laughs> it depends for my salary. <laughs> Or my commission. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Depending if everything works okay as you want. Yeah, because I I have another. Uh, how do you say gasto? Expenses. Yes, I have another expenses and. Well, I maybe I will go to the beach, but I I'm have to yet. I have to do I don't know cuentas numbers. I have to make numbers. I have to make numbers. Mm -hmm. Exactly like that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. I mean. Wow, I have spent so much money right now. Terrible. This money is not good. But yes. I mean, if you can make the time going out, having a little time off for yourself, it's always good. Yes, exactly. I I could spend time with my family or my friends. That's great. I mean, it's excellent, excellent. Yes. So it's going to be like no much. I mean, nothing special besides that. Actually, no, but maybe in the next days, I, I will find another thing to do. Yeah, well, try to enjoy. Sorry? Try to enjoy your time. Yes, teacher, thank you for your wishes. Thanks to you for being here in class, welcome. Let's see, Fernando, hello, Fernando. Let's hello, teacher, good evening. Friday. It's Friday, you got a short day, right? <laughs> and Fernando yes, was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> what yes. time did you finish working today? Today, around 3 p.m. Okay, aren't you supposed to finish working at 12? At noon? Uh, yeah, it, it was supposed, but you know. Uh, it's, it never uh, happens. It's never happened. As some people still finish the, the closing, and other mm. people 
uh, they are preparing their vacation. <laughs> so oh all, all people are running. And what about you? When do you start vacation? Are you gonna have vacation? Uh, no, the, the next week I will rest only Thursday and Friday, but okay. oh, uh, Wednesday at noon, finish my 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 work. And supposedly, supposedly again. Supposedly, but it's possible because next week will be uh, relaxed because yeah, the uh, closing finished today. The closing finished, and many people will be on vacation. Okay, so and you will have a a couple of days like ah, relaxing. Yeah, you can relaxing for for update my my task. And oh, that's cool. Other other good news is uh, the next week I will work from home because oh really yeah because the the because the holy week. So, oh, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, at least you are going to to sleep a little bit more. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Uh, a no couple traffic. of hours. Yeah, no traffic. Um, food and um, make home food. Yeah, uh, homemade with family. Food. Homemade, homemade food. Homemade food uh, with family. My wife will be on vacation. Oh, and um, yeah, and all the family in the house. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, those are good news. Yeah, I, I love news. And I think that uh, next week I will be um, trying to 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 ah, no sé, ponerme al día con las clases. Update. update. Oh, no, 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 no. To be up to date. To be up to date. Yeah. To be up to date with, with the class because this week were, was hard. And I, 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 lost, I lost a couple of classes. And, you know, I, <laughs> I am um, atrasado, teacher. I am behind. Behind. Oh, yeah, the, I am behind the class. on on the class. I am behind on the classes. I am behind on the class. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am behind on the class. So I need to study. Okay. Well, let me tell you the good news. The good news is that well, not the bad news first, because <laughs> I got good and bad. The bad news, as you know, because they send the info already on the group, uh, is that. Next week we are not having class, yeah, right? I know. That's yeah, I know. the bad news. The good news is that we're gonna have homework. Homework. <laughs> yeah, that, those yeah. are the good news. Okay. Everybody's like looking at me like, yeah, whatever. No, but it's <laughs> gonna be easy, easy, easy. I mean, and it's going to be interesting because oh. you know, uh, For... what I would like to know is simple you know it, this is like going back to school simple what did you do during your vacation because you're going to be on vacation from my class starting monday uh, sorry to share my, my connection it's okay bad. the question uh, is the question that you will have to answer is what did you do during vacation that's the question that you're going to answer so uh for the uh for the day that we come back for that monday i need you to send me a picture or to type it or send me the file of a text where you tell me the story of how was your activities I don't need it like on Monday I did this, on Tuesday I did this. I need it, I need you to tell me the story of your vacations. Something no. like, well, my vacations were interesting because I had time for doing some personal errands. I could enjoy 
spending time with my family. Then you can mention perhaps one day that you did something special. Like mm -hmm. for example, on Monday, you see, and you start elaborating. That's what I want, a paragraph, at least half a page. I mean, but remember, if you start like trying to, to make it uh, early in the week, I mean, day after day, if you sit in front of your machine like for five minutes to check out and to try to, to give shape to your homework, it's gonna be easy. And that's what I want from five to 10 minutes of, that you can dedicate to that activity for you not to get like a, forgetful with English. Yeah. So you see, the homework is going to be easy, guys. Easy. So okay. Heidi will have to tell me some, like Fernando, he's going to be with family, he's going to be working from home. That's what he's going to tell me about. Heidi, I don't know how she's going to do, but she will have to tell me something besides, I spend my whole vacation sleeping. That's not acceptable. <laughs> I know you will do something else. I will improve, and, teacher, because <laughs> I will improve. Okay, okay. No, or perhaps, well, if you tell me that somebody is going to take your kids so you can rest a little bit, okay. If you tell me that, if somebody took my kids to do this and that, so I will be able to rest because mm -hmm. then you explain to me why do you like resting? Why is it good for you? Why do you need it? You okay. See? And it's That's a paragraph. How many lines paragraph? At least half a page. Half a page. Yeah. Okay. At least. That's minimum. Max one page and a half. Okay, because I don't want you to, to overdo it. I mean, half a page is enough. If you do half a page, it's perfect. Okay. Okay. Okay, so okay. don't worry, it's not like something to be. So you see, guys, it's gonna be easy. Welcome, Fernando. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Francisco, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? You home? You working? Uh, in this moment, at home, teacher. But but you're gonna uh, go work. Yes, teacher. So uh, around nine, you take the bus, right? Uh, I I start my shift at at ten p.m. And you arrive to your job. Um, mm, around uh, five, uh, no, 10 minutes to- Before. Hmm? Okay. And tell me, how's the weather over there? Because here it's terrible. Terrible picture. <laughs> Man, that terrible. place where you live is so hot. In the, in the, in the afternoon, it was terrible. Uh, I take a shower. <laughs> I took. I sorry. I took a shower, and when I and you were dry in a couple of minutes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. In this moment, uh, uh, is uh, windy. It's possible that uh, it's gonna rain. Better, uh -huh, uh, rain, mm. but the the, the whole day uh, it's been pretty it's hot. Hot. In, yeah. Very hot. Yeah, I wouldn't go. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think if I could stand living there. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'll tell you a little story. Back in the days, like in let's see, it was it was the year of 1999 when I was working over there. And I, as I told you before, I spent a couple of months staying there. And uh, funny thing is this: uh, 
They wanted me to, to stay there, to live there. And I mean, there was a guy, a friend that uh, they wanted me to, to, to hang myself, you know? Right, right. To get married over there. And, but the option was for me to live there. And I was like, well, first, I'm too young. Second, no way, Jose, too hot. <laughs> That's the show. Uh, and then the most, the, the, in the year, the, the, the most, the hardest, most, the hardest the month, hardest. Hardest. The hardest, yeah. the hardest month uh, is, uh, April and May. June uh, is uh, uh, is probably that the uh, winter uh, is uh, start in in June. Okay, so you are up for a beautiful weather. Uh, for a couple of months. Yeah, only, only no. December and in January. Uh, are the ones that are acceptable? Yes, teacher. <laughs> a little acceptable because uh, the last year uh, in in December it was very hot. That other years. Okay. And the, the weather is, is changed, teacher. I remember when I was a child, the weather is, was uh, more acceptable. <laughs> and the uh, and how do you say station teacher? Seasons. Season. And the, the season uh, uh, is, uh, it was, uh, where, uh, how do you say, definite teacher? Define. Define. Where define. Where the, the oh, mind. yeah, yeah, yeah. And nowadays it's quite different, right? I mean, some days are hot, some days it's raining, the next day it's cold and windy. Right, teacher. Uh, because uh, I remember in October uh, in November, always, always, uh, uh, that's uh, windy. But uh, in this, uh, in nowadays, uh, for example, the on the last October, nothing windy. <laughs> yeah, it was no windy at all. No windy. Yeah, the weather is changing, and it's actually right. affecting us a lot. It, it's a, it's a, um, it's a. Uh, but true, but uh, in the reality, the change, the, sorry, the weather is changed. Well, actually, that's climate. In that case, it's climate. Cl climate. Okay, yeah. sure. Well, interesting. Nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, to Chief. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me check. Just check on a little something that I need to clarify. But meanwhile, let's see, uh, Ana Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. In fact, I'm doing better because uh, today I went to the doctor today and he cleaned my ear. <laughs> It was a situation that requires uh, immediate cleaning, and now I hear very well. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, just give me a second, please. Okay. And give me a second. Okay, so right now you are listening in stereo, right? <laughs> That's right. Yes, because he cleaned both. So um, working in this type of job, I am. Um, just imagine we are using headphones or headsets for more than like uh, around 10 hours during the day. So that situation happens and I get used to at least once a year visit this uh, doctor. I don't know how to say in English, otorrino. <laughs> oh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> okay. So I, I mean, to be honest with you, even to say it in Spanish was hard for me. <laughs> so, uh, and the last time I visited him, it was in Jan February 2020. And then we started working from home on March. And uh, then 2021, I couldn't visit the doctor. And until today, well, was the day? Like almost two years. And, and my ear was uh, needing to clean, be clean. It's, it's okay. I don't know if I will, I mean, if I will go willingly to something like that. Mm, you must, because you seem like, uh, uh, I don't know, it's uh, something hard to handle during the day because I wasn't able to hear very well to the customers. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like a must. I was like, ah. Oh. I must go. Yeah, the same could happen to me because I mean, part of my job is like listening to you guys. And uh, mm. in my case, it's complex because I need to be also aware of some mm. changes or variations in the nuances of the language, you know? Exactly. In, in the sound, uh, believe it or not, it's uh, all sound in our in the ear is like a, like a Ay, ¿cómo se dice golpe? Pound? No, no, golpe? No. Oh, it's a wave. Mm, okay. Yeah, those are waves actually, but yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Those beats. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Those yeah, beats. It's a bit. mm -hmm. So it affects, and uh, maybe even though I try to uh, manage the, the volume of my um, headsets, but being with them 10 hours a day is, is kind of hard job for my ear. <laughs> so he was taking off a lot of these <laughs> things, but it was like, um, like a rock. <laughs> was laughing for that oh my god okay well well i'm so happy that you can hear it better that's yes. always oh, true god. thank you no thanks to you and welcome thank you DJ. about the the task it will be what we are going to do during your vacation time i mean during your time class and vacation because i'm going to work from Monday to Friday. No, but you will you will be on vacation. Just of your class. <laughs> okay, what do you do in that time? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep early. <laughs> Sleep early. Okay, that's what I want you to tell me about. Oh, okay. Okay, I will write a, a paragraph about that. Okay. 
Excellent. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome. It's nice to have you here, as usual. Oh, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Well, you know, uh, you know, guys, between the things that we are going to be working tonight with, it's uh, indefinite pronouns is one of the topics that we are going to be working with. And that means that we are going to be working with somebody, everybody, anybody, nobody. And something that we must realize is that these words, uh, well, they represent that indefinite people or groups, but we don't say the name, we don't say the germ, okay? We don't say uh, female or male, okay? So when we want to say, when we want to talk specifically about someone, we use I, you, he, she, we, they, you know them, right? Because they are speaking specifically about somebody that we know, that we have on mind. But in this case, when we use the indefinite pronouns, we are talking about, it could be like anybody. I mean, we don't know specifically who. Okay, and we are gonna be doing some exercises. It's pretty simple, okay? You must remember something. Somebody, someone, anybody, anyone, they mean the same, okay? What they mean is pretty simple. It's just, it would be like one word for us. And it's, uh, how do I say it? Um, alguien. Somebody, someone, anybody, anyone means alguien, okay? Nobody, nadie, no one, nadie, ninguno. Could be whichever of them too. But we're gonna be working with them later on. So let's relax a little bit. And we're gonna go to the manual, yes, because we need to check a conversation. Then we're gonna go our type of conversations here. I got a very interesting topic for you tonight. And then we're gonna go back to study a little bit of the grammar. And I want to apologize to you guys uh, because I told you yesterday that I was going to send you tonight, today, the a presentation related to the tags, right? And the problem is that uh, I forgot my, my memory stick on my desk. And I didn't go to that workplace today. But I'll try to get it tomorrow from another part and send it to you, okay? So don't worry if you see it appear, pop out on the group, it's an extra material just for you to, to read, analyze, and perhaps if you have the time to exercise. But it's gonna be seen something very simple. Let's continue, let's see. We'll go to work with the manual because we have us, we have ourselves here, a conversation that we're gonna be working with. It's in page number 31. Okay, and we are talking about social media marketing and its influence, okay? Just let me get it ready for you. So you can listen to it, you can watch it, you can listen to me. Okay. Here we go. Okay. We are talking about uh, our topic is digital marketing. We are working on page number 31, okay? And we are gonna do first 
the conversation. Then we're gonna make a couple of questions. And this goes like this. Manuel is asking Raphael for some pointers needed to become a digital marketer. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. And the conversation goes as follows. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate to a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Very interesting. Let me get it for you. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Yes, I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate to a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Okay, guys, you're going to practice the, the pronunciation, but you're not going to be working in pairs. You're going to be working in slightly larger groups, okay? because I need you to practice with different people and I need you to listen to different pronunciations of the words, okay? That's why you are going to be working like this. So let's see, groups are created, please jump in. I'm gonna be sending you right now the, the, the screenshot of the conversation so you can have it handy. Jose, you stay here. Sorry? Ah, okay, okay. Yep, thank you. So if you want, I can start now. So, manual. Ah, okay. So, okay. Okay, what do, what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer but you have to create a published content consistent. Okay, then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get, the, get to the opinions men. No one likes to navigate to a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. So we can switch the role. 
Ah, okay. okay. I get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through uh, an option menu to get the information they need. Okay, uh, you can switch and Marcos start. Okay, what do I need to become a great online marketer? I know it can, can become online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. consistently. Then I think I'm, I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content okay. until they get to auction me, me, menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 auction menu to get the information they need manually. Okay. So now, Roxana. Okay. Okay, you start. Okay. okay. What do you, perdón. What do I need to do become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody, everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 options menu to get the information they need manual. Okay. Okay, again, I start okay. this time, okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone, anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Every, everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate throughout um, ten options menu to get I, perdón, to get the information they need. Manuel, perdón, es que me eche la agua encima. Oh my god. No comments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, just yeah, remember, Roxana, can... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Through, okay. through. Through. Como yeah, con you put, through. yeah, exactly like that. You put your yeah. tongue, your tongue, let's see. Uh, your through. tongue must be like touching your upper teeth slightly, okay? And then you pull it backwards. Through. Okay. Through. Through. Yep. Through. Like okay. that. Thank you. Okay, we can practice again, but we can change the pairs. So maybe Ada and I. Marcos, Ada. Or Marcos and, and Roxana. Okay, Marcos and Roxana. Okay, who's going to start? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see who's going to start. Me. You want me to start? Okay. Who's going to be my partner here? <laughs> Who's going to be with me? I'll be with okay. you, teacher. Okay, let's do it. You start. Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate to a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Let's switch. I start. 
<laughs> what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? With me again? Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a published content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you some you are telling me off. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tonya. like, oh my gosh, no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, let's see. 60 seconds and we go back to the main room, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks to you guys. Okay, let's see who's gonna be first. Ileana and Heidi, you are first. Uh, Ileana, you'll start. Okay, yes. Conversation, okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a published content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Perfect, thank you. Ada and Marcos. Uh... Ada, you'll start. What do you, I need to do become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer. They have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to look my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate for a same option menu to get the information they need manual. Perfect, thank you very much. And let's see. Jacqueline, hello Jacqueline. Hello teacher. You and Anna Claudia, you start Jacqueline. Okay teacher. What do I need to do become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes. Everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Maria Alejandra and Roxana. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do to become a real online marketer? Anyone can become a online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then uh, I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to love your content until they get to the option menu. 
No one likes to navigate through a uh, 10 options menu to get the information they need, Manuel. True. 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 Thank you, Roxana. True. Ambar, you and Frank. You will start, Ambar. Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm great online marketer already. Just, just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everybody's going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Okay, perfect. Jose Smin, you and Ramon, you will start, Jose. Okay. So what do I need to be, to, oh, sorry. What do you need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a published content consistently. Then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody's going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate up through a uh, 10 option menu to get the information they need manually. Okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect pronunciation, just something that I needed. And I'm sorry, I was gonna interrupt you guys, uh, but I decided to do it earlier. Something that you need to remember is this. Right at this moment and at this level that we are in your in your classes, in your English classes, I don't need you just to read. I need you to role play, okay? To do the the, the emphasis. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'll give you the example. If you notice, uh, in this case, as we have to persons that are talking that we got Raphael and Manuel. Raphael at the end is telling Manuel off because something that he's doing is not correct. Let's see, thank you Heidi, you are my volunteer. We're gonna do it, me and you. Uh, I'm going to be Manuel, you are Raphael. Let's start. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Your microphone, please. Sorry. Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create a published content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Perfect, you see? Thank you very much, Heidi. If you notice, uh, at the end, she was like, I don't know, perhaps it could be like telling me off or it can also be with a little touch of sarcasm, right? And that's something that you need to practice. Why, and you tell me why, because this is just an example. Yeah, because otherwise, if you get too used to speak at, let me rephrase this. The situation is this, when we are learning a language, if we learn just uh, phrases, words, uh, the way we are learning here, which is okay, it's cool. Uh, sometimes we don't get uh, some of the nuances of the language. Um, how do I say this in English, uh, in Spanish? Matices, okay? We don't get some of the nuances of the language. What do I mean by this? 
uh, remember that the punctuation is helping us understand when it's an exclamation, when it's a question, okay? When we make a small pause, those small pauses help us. If we don't follow them while we are learning the language, when we try to communicate with other people, it's going to sound too mechanical, flat, okay? And that's something that at this point, you need to really try to avoid to sound flat because you are getting a lot of vocabulary. I mean, in these classes, wow, these last two weeks, we have been getting a lot of vocabulary through the conversations we have having and through the manual. And you, believe it or not, are acquiring that vocabulary. And perhaps some of you are or are going to be like putting it, putting it into practice soon. But the situation is this. If you keep on just reading, you'll get used to that, to speak flat. And you need to put a little bit of the emotion. Which emotion? I don't want it to be exaggerated. I just want it to be as you usually speak, normal, okay? How do you do that? Well, remember, if it's a question, you pronounce it as a question, okay? If it's an, if it's a, there's an exclamation, you go a little bit high when it's an exclamation. When it's a question, remember, right at the end, close to the question mark, Sometimes we go a little bit low. Like this, let's see. Hey, hey Eliana, are you married? Did you see the intonation? It goes a little bit low. And like, what about if I tell her, Eliana, somebody told me that you got married yesterday. And Eliana goes like, huh? No, exclamation, okay? You need you need to practice it through the role play because that's going to help you for it to become natural to you, okay? Because some of you got good vocabulary, good pronunciation, but we are missing a little bit on the intonation. And remember, those are two different things, okay? We're talking about pronunciation, but you need to work on the intonation. Some of you are pretty fluent, got a lot of vocabulary, know when, you know when to use it, how to use it, but are still speaking a little bit flat. And I don't mean that all the time you're going to be like, like this, in my case, because that's me when I'm teaching. That's the way I am when I'm teaching. Okay, that's, that's how I feel comfortable while teaching. But uh, depending on the situation, you will vary the way in which you talk. Imagine you are like chastising someone, uh, telling off your kids, and you are not going to be like, hey, please kids, be quiet. I mean, you, yes, the, the idea gets to the other person, but the intention is not there yet. It's different when you go like, hey kids, please be quiet. Same sentence, right? But the intonation help to it change and perhaps to be understood in a better way. Remember, uh, something that you must be clear is this. The idea is not for you to simply communicate. Up to this point, all of you are able to communicate in English. You can communicate in English. I mean, you are at the level that you can communicate in English with an English speaking person. That's not a problem for you right now. What is the problem now? Is that you're gonna be speaking, but sometimes the sense of the idea is not going to be clear for the other person because we are not using the appropriate intonation, okay? And that needs to become something natural in all of you. So we are going to be emphasizing a little bit more on that, on the role play. We will see how Francisco and Fernando do because they are next and last. Francisco, you ready? 
Francisco is going to work, I guess. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. You'll start, Francisco. Okay, teacher. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online, an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to load my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need or not. Perfect. Very well done. Quite good, actually. Okay, let me tell you, let me get you into something else. Uh, the conversation was very good. Thank you very much. But we got another activity to do. Let's see. And due to the time factor, I will go to try to this better. I will reorder my laptop, my lesson plan. Okay, guys. Indefinite pronouns. It says here look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Indefinite pronouns refer to one or more unspecified objects, people, or places. They are called indefinite because they don't indicate the exact object, person, or place to which they make reference. Nobody likes to be bombarded with ads and pop-ups. Is anybody working as a community manager in your company? Somebody in the company likes to read our monthly article. Anyone knows about search engine optimization nowadays? No one pays attention to do advertising. Be sure the verb that accompanies the indefinite pronoun S is in singular form. Okay. This is interesting. Look, when we use these expressions, we must be aware of this. In this case, likes. In this case, is. Singular, always in singular form, okay? How do we know that it's in singular form? S, ES, in this case, or if it's the verb B, is. All the time. We cannot say, are anybody? Okay, we say, is anybody? Okay. It's someone in this group uh, kind of sleepy tonight. Yeah, and I start seeing a lot of hands going up, right? Oh, I, then it's just me, I'm kind of sleepy. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you see, is someone, I cannot say are someone, are somebody, are anyone, okay? Now, uh, I need you to please grab a piece of paper or something or your manual if you have it printed because I'm going to to clarify uh, certain aspects of this. Now, as I told you, when we got somebody and someone, we are talking about alien, right? Anybody, anyone, alien. Nobody, no one, nadie. Everybody, everyone, todos or Everybody in the world, todo el mundo, okay? Now, we use somebody and someone, they are used for affirmative sentences, okay? Somebody, someone for affirmative sentences, right? Anybody, anyone, they are used for negatives, and questions, okay? Anybody, anyone, they are used for negatives and questions. 
Okay. Teacher, sorry, teacher. Yeah. I think we haven't taken the second attendance. Are we? I think you are totally right. Thank you very much. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Nertalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Thank you, Susana. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, we have um, some more indefinite pronouns and we can we can use them for stuff and for places like for people we use everyone everybody someone somebody anyone anybody uh, no one nobody Teacher, I'm sorry to interrupt you. You say which are the ones used for negative sentences? Okay, let's uh, let's do something. Let me get the uh, let me get uh, the, for negative sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody, anyone. Okay, anybody, anyone. No one. No, it's not used for that. I don't like anybody. You see, I don't see anyone talking to me right now. Anybody, okay. Because if you say, I don't like nobody, that's a double negation and it's not acceptable. Mm, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, just let me do something. Okay. Let's see if I can do something here. Okay, guys, I'm sending you a, a, a picture. And it's almost the explanation I'm, I'm giving right now. If you can open it, it's there in the group. Okay, if you notice, do you have it? Can you see it? Please tell, talk to me, yes, no? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, let's analyze it. We got, uh, we got for people, we got everyone, everybody, someone, somebody, anyone, anybody, no one, nobody. Those are four people. Now, for stuff, everything, something, anything, nothing. Remember, nothing is for affirmatives, okay? If you're writing, check it out. Nothing is for affirmative. Nothing is for? Affirmative sentences. Okay. Remember what I told you before, double negation, forget it. Mm -hmm. The same happens with no one, with nobody. Those are for affirmatives. You cannot use it in the negative. Mm -hmm. Because it would be a double negation. I can do, I cannot say I don't like no one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for places we got everywhere, somewhere, anywhere, nowhere. Remember, these ones are not specific. That's why they are called in indefinite. Okay. 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 Uh, like, uh, let's see, let's see, Ana Claudia, you got your microphone open. Please tell me somebody important from, from El Salvador's history. El Salvador history. Um, oh my God. Uh, somebody important. Maybe Jose Matias Delgado. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, just remember, somebody and anybody are very interesting because those two, they can mean something different depending on the, on the context, okay? Because if you remember, I told you, somebody means alguien. Anybody means alguien. Hey guys, anybody remember what was yesterday's grammar topic? Mm, <laughs> what am I saying there? Alguien, no? Mm -hmm. O alguno. Okay, now look. Uh, I need an answer for this question I just asked, please. Anybody. Mm. Cualquier persona. Mm -hmm. okay. Depending on the context, anybody can change. Okay. Like, uh, let's see. Somebody's at the door. Somebody ate my sandwich. Uh, Somebody needs to answer the question, okay? Anybody? Remember, anybody, it's a little bit different because anybody or anyone can be alguien, nadie, cualquier persona, okay? Has anybody seen Maria Alejandra? It's been a while, I don't even remember her face, okay? Has Anybody, alguien, alguien ha visto, okay? Now, I've never, I have never met anyone like you, Ambar. No conozco a nadie. You notice, in this case, anyone became nadie. I have never met Anybody like you, Amber? In this case, anybody became Nadia. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think, I think Frank is having problems with his computer. Is anyone here an expert on computers? I'm asking cualquier persona. 
So it depends on the context. Now, why don't you, let's do something. So you can have it clear. I just already, I already took note of something that I, that I plan to do. I have the tag presentation. Tomorrow, I guess I'll make the time to go to, to my office and get the, my flash drive because I'm gonna need it. Uh, what about if I prefer a presentation of the tags and I will attach the presentation. I will prepare a presentation about the indefinite pronouns. And I will attach it so you can have both things. And I'll tell you why, because according to the manual, what we are supposed to cover is very simple. And you see that the little script we got in the manual is quite simple, just two lines of explanation. But actually, indefinite pronouns are, are a little bit bigger. If you notice what I'm explaining already to you, they are a little bit bigger. I mean, it's not just to know which one is affirmative, when do we use it for negative or for questions. Also, the idea that we are inferring when we listen to them can vary according to context. So that's what I want you to, to remember. And I guess it will work better for you if instead of you trying to catch what I'm saying, so you can read it. So I'll send it so you can have time during vacation to read it, analyze it, and throw me questions. Or if you want, when we come back, you can ask me any question related to it because we need to explain the difference between someone and anyone. We need to explain how to use everybody, nobody, okay? And what's the difference between anybody and nobody, okay? I uh, would like to explain to you how everybody and everyone are singular, okay? So there are little details that I would like to, 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 for you to be clear about. So what about if we do it like that? I will get you both presentations. If I am, um, if I have not sent them to you tomorrow night, let's see Sunday, I'm gonna be, uh, Sunday I'm gonna be busy. Please, anyone, anybody, Remind me Monday just to send it because I have them. What I just need to do is to look for them and send them to you. I have them in my in my other flash drive because the one I got here is the I brought the the wrong one. Okay, it's the black one, the one that I need. Sorry, but uh, yesterday and today my mind has been like kind of absent. My bad, but I will send it to you. And so that way you can analyze it. We will explain the rules and it's going to be easier. I'll get you more examples. So it's going to be easier for you. And perhaps I, there's a part of it that it's, uh, yeah, because I use it for another class that is in Spanish. Uh, hmm. No, but I'll get it to you full English, better for you. You don't need to be reading nothing in Spanish, okay? So, uh, do you agree, guys? Is it okay with you if I send you both things? Yes, yes. please. Okay. Yes. Perfect, excellent, I'll do it. Now, let's talk. I love talking to you. Well, actually, I love having you talk. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I have... Okay. A topic here for you ready, let me see. Oh yeah, I know, oh no, this topic is not appropriate here. This is it. Okay, let's see, Heidi, hello Heidi. Hello teacher. Okay, stay here, stay here. Before we move on guys, I need you to remember something. Uh, I need you to pay attention, to be like paying attention a lot because I have a lot of questions for you and I need you to be fast. 
I will give one question to her, one perhaps to Frank, one to Amber, okay? Uh, now let's see. Tell me, Heidi, do you enjoy meeting new people? If I enjoy what? Meeting new people. Oh, of course, I like meeting new people. Why? Uh, because um, it's my opportunity to get into my, my business. If I meet new people, I can make more business or friendships. Okay. So what are some good things to ask someone you just met uh, when you want to, 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 to get into business? Sorry? What are some good things to ask someone you just met when we when you want to talk about business? You where do you work that. at? Where do you work at? Uh, for how long you've been working there? Things like that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Welcome. Now let's see, Roxana. Hi. Tell me. In your opinion, what are some things you shouldn't ask people you just met? Repeat, please. What are some things you shouldn't ask people you just met? Well, I'm not sure, teacher. Maybe um, some... Um, favorite uh, things to do or... Okay, that's something that I shouldn't. Eso es algo que no debería. Ask. Oh, okay. Um, maybe uh, some private thing, stuff. Okay, or... Private stuff. Uh, like, um, please, give me some example. I have pretty good bad manners. I mean, I have bad well, manners. Well, to be honest, so, I, I think that... To be honest, I think that it's not uh, common when you are meeting uh, new people ask for um, situation in the in their actual relationship with the couple, for example, or their relationship okay. with her or his father's parents or something uh, travel specific. Uh, okay. For example, when you are meeting a uh guy guy el, el, no sé cómo decir el l g d t so i think it's not um correct to mention something um ground His tendencies yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. okay so it's okay if i ask you roxana tell me how much do you weigh <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You don't need to answer that. You don't need to answer that. I'm just giving an example, okay? I'm kidding. Okay. Thank you very yeah, much, Roxana. Roxana yeah. was with a knife like this, ready. <laughs> okay, now tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, Ana Claudia, is it okay to ask a person's age? No, no. Why it's... not? Well, it depends uh, if you are her or his friend, of course. Ah, so we guys are discriminated. It's okay. We cannot have privacy. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It's not so common. It, it's okay, but it's not so common. For example, for a man just met a woman to ask, how old are you? I, I guess eh, it's not so common. It's okay, but if we want it, it depends if we want to answer we answer if no we don't so that answer. one falls in the same category of <laughs> how much do you wait exactly the things maybe you shouldn't ask on first uh, but in the first uh it will be the first first sight first uh, meeting first. yeah when you just meet uh -huh, when you just meet exactly Unless okay. the one asking is your trainer for gym, because we must say too. Oh yeah, of course. Those are specific. Uh, <laughs> All those uh, situation uh, the same as an appointment with the doctor, right? Exactly. So those are mandatory to answer with the trainer. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Jacqueline. 
Tell me, teacher. Are you nervous when you are introduced to someone new? Uh, could you repeat, please? Sorry, teacher. Are you nervous when you are introduced to someone new? Mm, it depends. <laughs> I get nervous when I present to myself to new people that had a, a high level uh, talking about careers because they had a lot of experience. And also when it's someone that is evaluating my work in okay. like a surprise. <laughs> it's something yeah. of course in, in, in the place that I work. And uh, I get nervous, especially if, well, when I have a, let me see, um, a presentation in English, it always happens to me. Uh, but I do my a big effort. Okay, excellent. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello. You know, Amber, I have exactly the same problem as Jacqueline, so I need your advice. Tell me, what are some ways to overcome being nervous about meeting people? What can you recommend me? How can I stop being nervous whenever I get introduced to someone new? <laughs> Sorry, teacher, but I, I, I don't understand your question. Look at it in the chat. I just sent it in the chat. What are some ways, cuáles son algunas maneras to overcome uh, hmm, sobrellevar perhaps, the fact of being nervous uh, al conocer a alguien nuevo. I get nervous when I get to know somebody new. So what could you suggest me? ¿Qué me sugiere? I don't know. Uh, you, you should, should try to uh, spend time with the new people and you can you can talk about the how do you say interest in común? Common interest. Common interest. I don't know. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Eliana, I got a question for you. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Eliana. How important are first impressions to you? Very important. Would you mind telling me why? Mm, because, well, um, it's the first time that, that you see someone. I, well, I don't, I don't think that, uh, that specifically uh, with maybe Basic impressions, no, you know, for me, first impression is about maybe the personality of the of the person, because maybe if I meet someone new and he or her is kind of, you say yesterday, a cocky, como engreído? Como oh, stock up, yeah, cocky, cocky okay. also mm. applies. Yeah. Maybe if I have the impression of he or a he, her or he is him. okay. Him, I think maybe I don't like him or I don't like her. But oh. if the person, uh, uh, the, the the impression that that the person gave me to gave to me is um maybe an access access. I don't know how to say una persona accesible. Accessible. Accessible, access, accessible person. Yeah. I think. Oh, well, maybe you can also say it, the most correct is approachable. Approachable. Okay. 
is uh, if it's someone approachable, I think that, oh, it's someone, it's someone uh, who I want to talk. So the first impression, yeah, for me is very important. Even if I want to, to make a, a, a relation, uh, a relationship, it happens to me sometimes that if I feel like mm, I don't like her or I don't like him, maybe I don't talk to that person again. Okay, good thing you never met me first time in another context. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Let's see, Frank. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Frank. I need help with this because that happens to me a lot. What do you do if you forget the name of someone you have just been introduced to? <laughs> okay, that's that's very common. <laughs> uh, well, I think that uh, just try to not <laughs> to not uh, say something about their name or uh, uh, don't try, let it show. Yeah, <laughs> try to not uh, create that kind of context uh, in Where which the name you. Is needed. Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. When the name is needed, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that is the the best advice and. And also, perhaps you're telling me by time, so perhaps somebody else comes and says the name to the person. Yes, yes, of course. Or perhaps maybe just move away for a while and ask the name for <laughs> ask someone. someone else. Yeah, yeah someone you, else, and, and then return to the conversation. Okay, perfect. Thank yes. you. Thank okay, you. Okay, let's see, Fernando. Tell me, Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay. What kind of people do you like to meet? Oh, I don't have any specific people that I like to meet. Um, I like to meet um, uh, different kind of people that, I don't know, I like to meet uh, people with different interests. Uh, uh, compare it with, with my interest because okay. I like to talk about, I don't know, any, anyone topics? Any topics. Any topics, yeah, any topics. Okay. Yeah, I like any to, topics. okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me. I don't know, I like to know about, about any topics. Uh, technology, culture, sport, music, you know. Okay, great. Let's see, Marcos, have you ever experienced being completely wrong in your first impression about someone? Mm. Let me give you an example. Completely Perhaps, wrong uh, let me give... Uh, give you an example perhaps uh, you saw me today at the mall early in, in the morning let's see you saw me wearing just uh, a t-shirt a sleeveless t-shirt you know sandals shorts a cap some tattoos you know okay and mm -hmm. then the same day you realize that I'm going to be your teacher here for the class. So okay. have you ever been like in that situation when you see someone, the first impression is like, oh, this is weird. And then that person ends up being completely different? Mm, no, um, it not happened to me in perhaps about, uh, if we're talking about uh, the physical aspect. It maybe okay. happens to me uh, if it's about the behavior of the person. For example, if I meet someone and in, for example, in school or 
in the university and he or he star bother her or his friend just to be cool. I don't like that kind of people. Just to be to, to, to be the spotlight of the of the party, I, I don't like that, that kind of person who bother someone else to to gain attention. Okay. Excellent, thank you. That kind of people that that's your impression that's person impression. Yeah. Like. Bullies. Those are bullies. Yeah, I'm bullies. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's see, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> Teacher, okay. I might you is not, say my name. <laughs> this is not, this is not, uh, and my deepest apologies before asking the question. <laughs> Remember that this is just an example, okay? <laughs> yes. Tell me, uh, you are single, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, if you're looking for a shallow, relationship where do you usually go to meet people i see in the movies teacher for example or a series sex and the city the woman uh, search a, <laughs> a man in a bar or in a discoteca and or in a different uh, event uh, for the I don't know uh, uh, involve your work and involve. you involve, involve your uh -huh, your work and you meet a lot of people. But okay. I think that in the bar or or like okay, or dinner. <laughs> Come on, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> you ask me. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Uh, Osmin. Yes, teacher. Let's see, Osmin. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Let me see which is going to be your question. Mm -hmm. How many people, about how many new new people do you meet in a regular week? Osmin, hello. Sorry. So now, now I can say that just one, one person. Because, one person? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because Why? you know that. So I'm working from home, so I don't usually uh, go out. So, but when sometimes when I go out, so yeah, I can say that a lot of people, like hundred people, once we go to the mall, so we can see a lot of people. So, but now here, I can say that it's just one per week. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Let's see Anna Claudia. Yes, teacher. I am pretty, pretty curious. Uh -huh. Tell me, what is one thing that many people don't know about you? Wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> good, right? <laughs> there are a lot of things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, my next plan, where to travel. Okay. Mm -hmm. That it will be one thing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Come on. What is one thing that many people don't know about you? I guess it's not available. Heidi. Hi, teacher. Okay, Heidi, tell me about yourself. What is one thing, just one thing that many people don't know about you? I mean, some of 
People know it, but the rest of the people don't. Some know it and the rest don't, that I snore. Oh, really? <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> that happens to a lot. It's, as long as it's not like, a, like my dad, you know, my dad snoring <laughs> is weird. It's strong, but I remember getting, getting home like 3 a.m. in the morning, mm -hmm. sneaking into my bedroom, you know, like very quietly. What? My dad was snoring strong, completely strong. And he used to go like between his snores, like this is not a time to come home and snore again. Man scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, a lot of us snore. That's normal. You know, I guess that's not as, for me, that's not a big problem as oh, something that a lot of people do. But it's uh, when you draw. When you? You know that? Draw. 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 When. When you are sleeping yeah. and you know the oh, girl okay. comes here, yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Mm -hmm. That's really terrible. I guess snoring is something that I can stand more easier. <laughs> okay, thank you. But thank you, Heidi. It would be the same word used when a man looks a woman and the first impression is like, ah. Oh, yeah, sure, you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, like, uh, I mean, uh, just an example, please, 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 let's see. Let's see. Oh, first time, you know, first time I saw Ara here in the classroom, man, I couldn't stop drawing over her. You can say, over her, is that correct? Yeah, I am talking about, about, I am saying about her, but using over her. Ah, okay. Yes, because it sounds oh, like can... you are literally, physically. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Thank you. I understand. Yeah, because if you say I couldn't stop drawing because of her, that sounds weird. We don't talk mm -hmm. like that. Okay. It is correct. It is correct. And it, it transmits the idea, but it's not the way we speak. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Hmm. It's always fun to have this class, you know. I don't know why, but I always yeah, have a lot of fun with you guys. How they pop up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, guys, it's been pretty interesting. And man, it's going to be weird next week because I'm going to see you. Uh, but still remember, you got a homework. Please remind me if I don't send you the the presentations, because that's my compromise, okay? Please remind me, do it. Don't hesitate. And let's see what else. Work in the platform, guys. Today, we are supposed to have finished section three. Sections one, two, and three are supposedly to be done today. So let's work on it, please. Very pleased. Let's see what else. And Please try not to fill charts. It's not healthy. I guess some of you didn't get me, right? Fill charge. <laughs> no me vayan a alimentar ningún tiburón, please. It's not healthy. <laughs> I expect to see all of you here and something else. Let's keep in touch. Let's text <laughs> each other during this period of, of no classes. There's, the group is for that, okay? So I will be, I will be saying hi, hello, please, if it's possible for you, because I know that you got compromised, you got job, work to do. If it's possible for you, answer back, okay? If you want to send me an audio, do it. If I need to correct you something, I'll do it there, okay? So let's practice. You need to practice and, and I got no problem helping you like that, okay? Let's see, let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alparo Gómez. Present. 
Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Os, José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Uh, José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good vacation, at least from this class. Enjoy your week. And please keep in touch. Bye bye. Have a good one. Thank you, teacher. Nice vacation, everybody. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Enjoy your holidays. Yeah, right. Good night. Teacher. Uh, yes, mister. I need your help with the platform. And homework 3.7. 2.7. Yes, 3.7. Two, three. Three. 3.7. 3.7. Okay, let me check it out. Yeah. That's corresponding to this width, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yes, but I I lost that that class. <laughs> and I'm trying to do, but uh, okay. You want to go on holiday. Affirmative yeah. sentence. If the sentence is affirmative, the tag must be negative. Yeah, it's uh, I have. Present. It's a, and it's simple present. So in this case, you want to go on holiday, don't you? Don't you? Yes, that's right. I have done you, but it's incorrect. <laughs> okay, perhaps I have, it's a matter of 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 the apostrophe. Yes, it's I have this, this. Copy one. paste this one. No, just don't you. Don't you? Oh, uh, without the the question mark. The the rest, yeah, without question mark and without the rest of the sentence. Just don't you? Oh, just don't you? Yeah, like Charles will help us. Won't he? Okay, won't he? Yes, I got won't he, but with the the complete sentence. Oh, okay, okay, one here. Okay, it's correct. And okay, I have correct now. And number three is hasn't she? I don't know which one is it. Number three, Mary has a little lamb. Oh, Mary mm -hmm. has a little lamb. That's a song. Hasn't she? No. No, no. Doesn't she? Yes, oh, you that. can say hasn't she, but it's better if you use doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. I I have uh okay. I copy this. Uh, she wasn't surprised. She wasn't surprised. Was she? Exactly. Was she? Okay. And... It didn't rain. Uh, that's it. Didn't look. It didn't. Simple past. Did it? It didn't end, and didn't is negative. 
It didn't, oh, there was a typo there. The sentence was, it didn't rain. Did it? Yes. Did it? Ah, oh, did it? No, didn't. No. Because oh, okay. the sentence is negative. Ah, okay, the sentence. Okay, then. Try it out. Is. Didn't. Did. Oh, uh, didn't. Didn't it? No. It no. didn't. It didn't rain. Did it? Oh, did it? Yeah, because the, yeah. the first part of the sentence is negative. So the tag must be affirmative. Uh, must be affirmative. Okay, I got it. Okay. And now just, just remember something. Just remember something. When the sentence is affirmative, like uh, you're Fernando, aren't you? I just need you to confirm. Okay. You aren't Fernando, are you? In this case, uh, I don't know. I need you to tell me to clarify. You see the difference? Yes. Uh, sorry, teacher. My, my connection was was okay, lost. Don't worry. Okay. I will send the explanation on the on the presentation. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, teacher. So you sorry. can so relax, relax. Don't worry. I will send it there. So after watching it, if you got any question, just let me know. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Is there anything else I could help you with? No, teacher. For the okay, moment, now. Thank you. Thanks to you. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, well, that's it.